Hi guys, well I'm going to try and do this video, <laughs> I've been trying to do a live video because as I've promised, I've promised seven days of live video. This isn't really the most convenient time or place but I've got a long day ahead and I might not get the chance, I'm not going to be home till around about nine, half nine this evening. So I'm just going to make the best of this <laughs> um, and so I've been doing relationship dilemmas. If you tune in for the very first time, my name's Marianne, I'm the owner and therapist at New Journeys Counselling, where I provide counselling to couples and to individuals with relationship problems. So I decided to make seven days of live video all discussing various relationship dilemmas. If you want to see the rest of them, go to my Facebook page and you'll see day one and two. Today's dilemma is, give me a chance because I've actually not got my tripod either with me today, it's called When We Argue, I Want Us To Resolve Things But He Just Walks Away. Can We Fix This? So, in some of the um, people who come to me for therapy, but also when I have conversations with people, the biggest issue in relationship problems is around communication. And one of the um, main things is people have different communication styles. People don't communicate the same. So the first step you have to do is to identify what is your communication style. When you're arguing or having a disagreement with someone, are you someone that will just continue to like have the discussion? You need to talk it out. It, hi, whoever's online, say hello. Are you someone that will just continue, continuously argue your point until that person agrees with you? Are you someone that can't go to bed on an argument? You know, you have to talk it through till it's resolved. Are you someone that leaves post-it notes everywhere? You know, you don't want to talk to the person, but you want them to know how upset you are by writing it down. Or are you someone who walks away? Once you've identified your communication, once you've, once you've identified your communication style, the next step is to discuss that with the individual, your partner, because if they, they need to know what your style is so that they can understand you and how you communicate. The second step you need to take is to think about ways to compromise. So when you're having disagreements with someone, what's your agenda, what's your reason for the disagreement? You know, is the ultimate goal for you to be heard, to be understood? Is your goal to win the argument? Is your goal to inform, um, to resolve things? You need to understand what your goal is and then think of a compromise. Um, because there's got to be somewhere in between those two points. If both of you want to be right, you're just going to keep arguing with each other until someone backs down, and that might not make either of you feel good, but then you've both um, got your points. So what you need to decide is what's more important. So compromise means that you look at both sides and you say, OK, how can we compromise? The next step you have to take is to decide beforehand when we argue or have a disagreement, this is the plan, plan of action, what we're going to do. When we argue, I'm going to give you 20 minutes space. Um, I'm going to give you some time because you need to walk away. When we argue in the future, I'm going to um, do this or I'm going to do that. Whatever you decide to do, talk about it beforehand, plan it out so that when the argument occurs, you're not both stuck there. You know you've already discussed it. The other thing to do is to accept he, each person has a different way of managing arguments. So that's probably the key thing. Not everyone resolves things in the same way, the same way as not everyone communicates in the same way. So if you get into a disagreement with someone, as the title says, that person, your partner, might want to just walk away. That's maybe what he needs to do. If you're in the position where you're saying, well, until we get this resolved, I'm not going anywhere, we're going to talk this out, you know, we're going to keep going till one of us, till, it, till it's sorted. Maybe it can't be sorted. Hi there, who's that online? Maybe it can't be sorted. So if your partner needs to walk away, just put a deadline on it, say something like, um, okay, you're walking away now, but we're going to discuss this later, or something like, how long do you need? As long as there's a boundary and you know that you're going to get it resolved eventually, there's no point holding someone prisoner and saying, you know, we're going to talk this through until it's resolved. Sometimes it can't be. 
So they're my quick tips. This is a very quick live because I've got to, um, I'm just waiting for a meeting to start. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please tune in um, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be doing my live from home. And I hope you've enjoyed watching them. And please leave your comments and I'll get back to you. So I'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.